Hey everybody, welcome back. Stone Broke Adventure here. Uh, today we're going to be doing a unboxing, a review, and a field test on this new Rio Link camera. It's the Rio Link Keen Ranger PT. It's a field camera that you put out. Um, it works off of a cellular 4G network. I've been using Rio Link uh, security cameras on my home for years. Rio Link found out about this and they actually reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to do a review on this product. So they sent this thing for free and we're gonna do a fair, honest review. Got a nice little box with some good graphics on it. Tamper resistant seal. Some information on the top there. What have we got here? Some sort of a little envelope. Looks like it's got your owner's manual, a quick start guide, warranty info, templates for mounting antenna and a little foam holder right on the top of course we have the camera assembly itself it's got a protective cover on the lens qr code on the back got a mounting bracket for the camera assembly we have a mounting strap for mounting around the tree usb charging cable this is the solar panel with plenty of cord. This is the solar panel mounting bracket and an adapter kit so you can actually strap it to the tree. This is actually a new item that they added to this. Set up on this thing, like all real link cam cameras, it's super easy. Just follow the quick start guide. If you don't have the app, you're gonna scan this QR code download the Rio Link app. That's gonna be your interface. You're gonna to need to purchase a data only SIM card. Rio Link recommends the EOT Club. Uh, you can get one with 300 megabytes for a month for real cheap. You scan the QR code and you can just easily reload more data online. What's nice about this data card, you're gonna insert it right in the back where it says SIM card, you're gonna insert that. And as you turn this thing on and go through the next process, it's gonna automatically activate. Next, you're gonna flip it over, find the power switch, open up the little cover, flip the switch on. You're gonna get a red light that's gonna come on as it powers up. That light will change to a blue blinking light that light will turn to a solid blue light. That means it's connected with the cellular. Go into the app on your phone. You're gonna flip the camera over. There's a little QR code on the bottom of this thing. You're gonna scan that QR code right there and follow the steps on your phone. In a few seconds, this thing will link up seamlessly. So you can see here, this is kind of the interface that uh, is with the application for the computer, the laptop. You see right here, it has a, a pan and tilt. It has a, a digital zoom function, an alarm that you can uh, click and it will uh, kind of blast an alarm on the camera. A speaker so you can actually communicate and talk uh, with somebody that's in front of the camera. You have a record button. If you see something while you're live viewing, you can press record, save that movie. It'll save onto your hard drive. Uh, this is the camera function. It'll take a snapshot. Um, it has a playback mode where you can play back history. You have the pan tilt. So let's go ahead and see here. We're gonna kind of pan to the right. There's a little bit of a delay because it is a cellular. It takes a second to get there. You can see it just pan to the right. Yeah, let's go back. I'm gonna pan back. Couple second delay. So yeah, this, this image right here is five miles from the house. I've had it up for two days at this location and another location and caught a ton of wildlife. So let's take a look at those videos. Okay, this is a uh, early morning daylight. Received a notification and uh, check the playback. And as you can see here, there was a couple deer that came into the frame. 
picture quality is real good on this thing. I was really impressed. As another one comes out from underneath. And you can see the hair on his back. Having the ability to take this camera anywhere in the woods, as long as you have a cell service, and being able to stream video quality like this directly to your cell phone or your laptop computer, it's just really impressive technology. And you can actually hear the sound quality of this. You can hear the deer kind of stomping through the brush. So that's how good it picks up on the audio. All right, let's check out another clip here. Same camera location. Uh, it's in the middle of the night right now with the uh, infrared light on. You can see how clear that picture is with the infrared light. Same thing, you can hear the sound. This next clip is going to be early morning, different location. The deer walking by. See, each time this happened, I received a notification on the phone. Let me know that there's some sort of movement. Let's check out the next scene here. You can see here the sensitivity of the infrared. You can actually adjust the sensitivity on this for small objects, uh, small pets, small animals, uh, large pets. A lot of parameters you can set on this. But this is a little rabbit that came into scene. Um, at night with the night vision lights are on and we'll go to the next one a wild boar here I slowed it down so you could see it I picked up that wild boar now this next scene is a couple coyotes this is the middle of the night with the night vision off and it still picks up the ambient light. That's a coyote walking by. And then a little bit later, there's a couple more that come by. Remember, this is with the light off. You know, I'm really impressed with this camera. Um, the image quality on it is excellent. Um, the amount of things that you could use this camera for are just endless. You could use it for remote surveillance. You can use it for game watching and scout out some of your favorite hunting spots. This has a time lapse feature where you can set their parameters, uh, frame rate per second. You can set this thing out at a construction site and, uh, and like do a time lapse of a construction project. The Keen Ranger PT. I am super impressed with this thing. So, from Stonebroke Adventure, until next time, bloop!